Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my ML Class W164 chassis and we are going to be addressing what is probably one of the most common oil leak problems on this vehicle and that is by replacing the turbo inlet seal. Now to get to the turbo inlet seal we have to remove all of this plastic Y pipe and on my vehicle it has the newer style with the integrated filters so I'll show you how to do that. So it's a little bit hard to see and it is specific to the setup of your Y pipe, but my vehicle has a A6420940480 gasket. And whilst I'm there at the same time, I'm also going to replace the inlet breather from the PCV valve. So to get the Y pipe off on this vehicle, we undo all of the clips. So there's four clips to the air boxes. We then need to get the sensor cables off. If you haven't done this before, you need to get a screwdriver and you pull that little gray tab out. And then you push down at the same time as you pull. And then there's one connector here at the back on the PCV hose. That just pulls straight out. Okay. And then we need to pop a screwdriver onto the clamp that's on the main inlet to the turbo and loosen that off. And then just to make it a little bit easier, what I do is I remove this bolt which holds the actual air box in, just the one. It's an E9, I think. Sorry, it's an E10. And with that out, we can just flex that back. So with those three electrical connectors, the clip's undone, that box, it should just slide off nicely. And then we just pull the PCV out and we're done. So the wire pipe off, we can pull the old seal out. So what is really interesting as we look at the two seals here, this is obviously the new one on the left, and we've got the old one on the right, is you can just see how deformed the old seal has become. So it's stretched and it's just completely out of shape. I've checked the part numbers, and this is a genuine Mercedes part. So it's the exact same part number, but you can see there is really quite a difference. So we'll get into it and we'll get the new one fitted up. So we simply want to slide the new seal in, line it up with those marks in there. And you can see we're just making sure we've got it firmly all the way in. All right, so whilst we're in here, we're also going to replace the breather seal as well. So I'll get the old breather seal off, just pull it off. And we can see that the old ribs have completely worn off. So quite confident that would have been leaking as well. Get the new one on, just line it up with the marks. Pops on really easily. And then we will get the wire pipe reinstalled. So the way I do this is I start with connecting the air box on the right hand side. You then have to get the PCV connection in. So we kind of 
go by feel and we know where it goes so we just slide it in in there And you can tell straight away that just replacing that PCV, you sort of had to struggle there a little bit just to get it in. It is so much tighter than it was before, so that's gonna make a massive difference. So with that PCV connected, what I then do is I just very carefully, I arch the main Y pipe on. And you can see that is so much firmer than the old seal getting that on. So a massive difference there. So with that in position, we reconnect the airbox. Connect the airbox on the other side. Put the sensors in. already popped the PCV sensor in the back there before. We need to pop the screw in that we took out of the filter box. And then finally we need to do up the clamp around that main turbo inlet. And then we are good to go. So the final thing we need to do is just have a quick check. We've got the clips done up. We've got the bolt back in. The three electrical connectors back on. The clamp done up. PCB valve is poked in there well. So the final thing to do is to pop the engine cover back on. You simply locate it on the back two lugs. Give it a push and then push down the front. And we are good to go. So there you go, folks. That's how to replace the main turbo inlet seal and the crankcase ventilation seal on your OM642 engine. Common problem. As you can see, these old seals were really perished and have lost their form. So causing oil leaks in this engine. If you have liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.